Well, well, well. Hello and welcome. You just seen that I put my nice uh, navy blue base coat on. Now I'm going to put my 50 shades of orange. Well, it's not quite 50 shades, but over exaggerating. But let's do this. They've been sitting here a while, so I'm not sure how they're gonna be. So I'm gonna use them up. I'm literally doing the wiggles all over my canvas. Wiggling and wiggling. Just wiggly lines. Radio. Now for a brighter orange, this is the uh, Blazing Saddle, I think, or Blazing Sands or something. Looks so striking against that navy, but. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's a fly buzzing around there. It's gonna go in my paint, I just know it. Radio, nice bright yellow. It's just a cool yellow. I've gone left my back door open to my art studio and there is all these nasty flies, which we don't really get too many flies because we're quite high up on the mountain. But today it seems like they've come to visit Radio. Now we'll go the really bright one again. Okie doke. Back to this cooler one. I know it seems a lot of paint and don't worry because I can scrape any paint that I tip off, I can scrape it up and put it in a jug to just reuse as a base color. Um, and remember the paint is mixed with so much pouring medium and water that it's not actually a lot of actual paint. Go away, Psst, buzz off, buzz off. Oh my goodness. Oh. So this is just a gentle tilt. And these flies are really annoying me today. They are living on borrowed time if they don't fluff off. Radio. So this is like probably one of the first techniques that I ever did on my YouTube videos was this wiggle paint and tilt technique. And I've always just loved, loved it, loved it, loved it. But I've got a lot of the same tone colors in here. So um, I'm hoping that it turns out pretty good. Well, just got to try it because they were kind of old paints that have been sitting there covered up. And if I don't, if I didn't use them, they would have to be thrown out anyway. So you can use them to um, hone your techniques. And usually when you do that, it's always a piece that turns out that you really, really enjoy or really like. Just always make sure that you recenter your paints again. So they're not sort of sitting, you know, one area or the other that you've tilted. And, um, what I'm gonna do on this one is a really thick, thick blue line of swipe, but you will kind of hopefully see why. So this is, it's all mixed with my, keep it simple pouring medium. I've got no flow troll or no silicone added, just my pouring medium to my paints. So we'll put a nice thick line of this on you'll see why hopefully if my plan if it goes to plan should i say there you go what i'm gonna do is just tilt it down here a little ways tilt it back up there a little ways Try and 
cover that. It's the last of it. Okay, I'm going to use a large uh, plastic sheet. It's um, a file divider. File divider. So if I can, I didn't remember to get my sheet out ready, did I? Because I got a bird brain. Goodness. As I said, I didn't remember to get my sheet ready. I've got a bird brain today. Probably most days, but I'm gonna whiz it with the heat wand to burst the air bubbles. Okay. Oh my gosh. It isn't even plugged in. Let's do this. Right here. We've got this nice soft plastic file divider and that's what I'm going to use to swipe okay let's do this again take it nice and slow no hurry no racing. Radio. That should be good. Just swipe your plastic file divider straight over with a damp cloth and then it's ready to use the next time, providing you don't forget where you put it. Radio. Got nice little cells starting to form. So what I would like to do now is I want to bring all those colours back up out of my canvas, all those oranges that I've put there, I want to bring them back up. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a chain and I'm going to do what I call dry, dry chain pulls. Maybe I could do it the other way, actually. Yeah, because then it kind of be, yeah, I think I'll do it that way. I call them dry chain in that my chain is not going to be dipped in paint or anything first. It's going to be just put on the canvas. So this is a, tra a chain and I'm just wiggling it about however you choose to lay it. And then I'll drop that over there and then I'll use, I'm going to try this might not work because I usually find if it's a heavier chain works better. So this is a row of beads, not the family jewels, may I um, say. Definitely not the family jewels. Not that we've got any. But I'm going to lay that there and I'm going to... I'll try... Um, okay. I've got a smaller chain over here, like, you know, in smaller um, bear, balls or whatever you call them. I know lots of people don't actually like these chain pulls, but I think they're quite lovely. Rightio. What you do is you have a cup of water ready, so as soon as you pull your chains off the work, you can put them straight in a cup of water. Might do with this one down here. This is a, another beads. Okay, let's try this. So I like to just pull. pull it, pull it. It is probably really um, beneficial if you leave your paints to dry off a bit even because it might work a bit better maybe i should try that but look at those colors now they're being pulled back through there's a bit too much paint on there that was a mistake i think the whole the fly has invited his whole family because like 20 million have turned up now that's annoying Okay, let's give this a go. Let's see. Is 
This is what you call dry chain pulls in that the chain was dry and not with colour on it. Putting them straight into my water so the paint can come off them. It's coming back up colourful now. Try this little one. I think it probably would be better to let my paints dry off a, li a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty. I'm just looking at all the chains I've got here to give some more a go. Maybe I'll try this, just a little wiggly one up here. Beautiful. Well, that didn't work so well. You obviously need your chain not to be. That's beautiful. Look how bright that's turned. It's like a summer garden now because now having the blue at the top is like the sky. And it wouldn't be a summer garden or a jilly without this balloon to add some more summery look. So I'm gonna literally roll the balloon instead of kissing it, I guess would work. And look at those beautiful oranges coming back up now. Wow, wow, wow. I will turn it around so you can see what's going on down the um, garden end. I, lo I love, love, love it against that blue at the top. It's very nice. I uh, might just bring in my, it's just an ordinary size balloon, but it has a bit of weight to it, uh, water in it to add weight to it. So I wanna see if I can bring some of that navy up from the base coat up through. There you go, there you go. So just wipe your little balloon kisses off after each kiss in there. I'm gonna just push that in there, wow. Wow, 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 that's beautiful. It really looks um, like a fantasy garden. Oh, look at that. When you do the balloon rolls through the blue, really, <laughs> Oh, it never ceases to give me so much joy. And that's really what this art is all about, is the joy that it can give you. Art therapy. I'm just gonna give my balloon a little pop down the bottom to cover up the sides of my canvas. But yeah, I still get excited by it, so I guess I'll still be doing it for all the time that it actually, you know, excites me to do. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is really, really lovely. Oh, dry chain pulling and chain. Oh, my heart. Wow, wow, wow. I can scrape all that paint that's on that, that's uh, left down there. I can scrape it all off. In fact, I think I'm gonna use it to put in a bit of a blue kisses. Uh, it's beautiful, just press it into my paint that I've got sitting there that's run off. I can add some of these blue look down the bottom, which is beautiful, beautiful. There you go. Oh, that is really gorgeous. So I'm gonna just pray that the drying gods be with me and that it dries absolutely beautiful. So you will see the photos at the end. Give this dry chain pulling a go. It is so much fun. And as you see, it pulls all those lovely colors back up 
and that absolutely looks like a, what is it, um, fantasy garden under the sea. In an octopus's garden underneath the sea. If I was very clever, I could draw an octopus, couldn't I, or paint an octopus in there and really make it an octopus's garden, but I'm not. So I'm gonna leave it like that for today. Hope that you really enjoyed that. So much fun for me, truly enjoyed it. Please take care, my lovelies. Don't forget, if you're feeling sad, lonely, upset, ring a family member or a friend, and if not, definitely a helpline. I will be back tomorrow, so until then, please take care. Bye for now.